The exhibition here in Backlit Gallery is linking the present day with the 1980s, the same time that Al Fidesz Pet was on the telly. I've created kind of a Titan type monument to uh, Theresa May and uh, there's a definite sort of combination of the past and present. So with the kind of feels of the exhibition, we were looking at the 80s. So I wanted to create something that was quite Margaret Thatcher-esque. Um, so I chose this kind of stature and um, combined that with Theresa May. So it's kind of looking at how, uh, you know, things come back around, you know, and how similar things are now to the 80s, really. We invited our studio members to respond to the history of the building, being that it's a place that they spend a lot of their time. It's almost like a second home, so we decided to look at this really interesting idea of how you create um, sets and fiction and narratives through contemporary arts. Artists here are using the themes from the show to create a variety of different works. So I researched into the making of Alvida Saint Pet over, um, over here and in the rest of Nottingham and I was really interested in the way uh, that people had worked here and the way the cast had worked here and I found out that um, one member of the cast had been replaced by a body double because he passed away um, towards the end of filming the series in this building. Um, so I based the work really on a response to that. It's just the construction of um, a false wall with a working door um, and what that does it, it, is it allows people to momentarily suspend their disbelief um, the reality of the wall here and they come open the door and realise that actually um, this false wall is built about a foot in front of an existing gallery wall um, so their kind of illusion of that is shattered. I think it shows the level of ambition that we have in the city and I think it also shows how much great talent we've got in Nottingham and there's some really well-known names in the exhibition that we're really proud of to have as Backlit members and there are some people that are, have just graduated so it's a real mixture of people at different points in their careers but one thing about this exhibition was giving the artists enough time and money and support to make the best work they can.